Hello kiddos, and welcome back to unit number two of world history. Today, we're beginning our unit all about Asia. Now specifically, we're gonna be focusing in on two different regions in particular, China and Japan. However, we're gonna look at Asia in totality. We're gonna to be talking about all sorts of countries that exist in Asia. Now, one thing to keep in mind throughout the entirety of this unit. Now, we're gonna be talking a lot about these things called dynasties. Now, what a dynasty is, it's a family of rulers. So in other words, these different dynasties were different families that controlled China throughout the entire history of China. So today we're going to be focusing in our very first dynasty, this dynasty called the Sui. Now I know that looks like Sui. It's pronounced Sui dynasty. And specifically, how did they reunify or bring China back together? So Today, our CHQ is to what extent did the Sui dynasty bring structure, also known as strength, to imperial China? So let me give you a little bit of a background here. Before the Sui dynasty existed, there was this period called the period of disunity. Now, the period of disunity happened when the Han dynasty, a really early dynasty, fell apart. Then, for 300 years, China experienced chaos. There was war, there was poverty things were not going very good in China. In fact, things were going so poorly that they were losing territory like crazy. The Koreans, in fact, broke away from Chinese rule and they created their own civilization. Korea used to be a part of China until the period of disunity and never again was China able to reconquer Korea. Now, in addition to that, a people group called the Xiangnu Living within this place called Central Asia, they conquered the Chinese capital city called Chang'an, and they destroyed large parts of the Great Wall, which you could see back here. Everybody knows the Great Wall of China. The Great Wall was destroyed during the period of disunity. So you can imagine the relief of Chinese citizens when the Sui dynasty finally, finally created a reunification of China, putting an end to the period of disunity. Now, the way they did this was very cool. Um, this guy named Wen Di, I know that sounds like a funny name, but his name was Wen Di, and he won battle after battle after battle and declared himself the emperor of China and formed the Sui dynasty officially. Now, when Wen Di died, his son Yang Di became emperor and began expanding China in some very, very special ways. So today, what you guys are going to be doing is easy. You're going to watch a short video and answer questions all about Yang Di and the Sui dynasty, specifically focusing in on this amazing thing that Yang Di made called the Grand Canal. So enjoy, kiddos. Have a great day, and I'll see you all face-to-face -face when I see you.